Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Magnus. Welcome to Lesson of Lessons of Hearthstone, and guess what? It's Patch Day! So, well, this actually looks a little different. Slightly different coloring. So let's talk about what's changed. Let's go with the, uh, there's, we're going to go over the cards first that have changed, and then I'll cover the arena. So, because there's some slight changes to that. And then I'll also cover some of the new ranking changes. Okay, so, first things that change that people are probably going to be wondering is Hunters. Hunters had a big change in the way they play, because previously, this, the Starving Buzzard, was a 2-2. It is now a 2-1. This change was brought about because Rogues, Mages, and Druids had issues with Hunters, because they could play this, and it's kind of a pain to kill. Now they got around that, because Mages can pop it, Rogues can stab it, and Druids can just eat it. The other big major change to Hunters was this thing. Unleash the Hounds no longer gives your minions charge, and now summons a 1-1 with charge for every enemy minion that your opponent has on the field. I'm in two minds about this change. I liked the way the card worked before, but I would have liked it better if it had this kind of mana cost. Because before, what would happen is you get to turn 8, and you play a bunch of 1 and 2 cost beasts, and then you play this in its previous form, and you blow them out of the water. This right now, it's kind of use. Well, it's not entirely useless, but it's incredibly situational, and I don't imagine a lot of hunters will actually take it. I probably am not going to be using this all that much, because if I have my opponent has a taunt, for example, like a Tastingo, which is a 3 5, and they only have two other creatures on the field, so I get 3 plus 1 plus 1 hounds with charge. That's not even going to make a dent in what the hell I have to deal with. So, at 4 cost, this is a little much for what it does. If it was still a 1 cost card, it might be a little better, but at 4 cost, this is this is going to need some retweaking, I feel. And a lot of people are going to maybe shy away from it. Okay, next card to change was the Priest. Priest's now Mind Control is now a 10 cost card. This I kind of like and I kind of don't at the same time, because I play a priest as well. It uh, it allows your opponent to have a couple of extra turns of their big scary minions. However, at the same time, it limits the priest from kind of saving themselves from those big scary minions. But it, it's, it's a trade-off, really. Because if they drop a rags on turn 8, and I don't have a Shadow Word Death, that rags are going to beat on me for two turns, which is kind of bad. I'm not, I'm not going to say, I mean, not everybody has a rags, but it is a very, very popular card to, uh, to take. So it's just, just kind of one of those things I'm kind of in two minds about. Yeah. You know, I don't know. A couple of things. And then, let's take a look at the neutral cards that changed. Uh, there was... I'm trying to remember what they are. I know it was this guy. He's now a 4-2 instead of a 4-3, but he still has Divine Shield Charge. Not a huge change here. Really not. Um, it's still a 4-3, or 4-2, I should say, with the Divine Shield, so it trades out. It basically just makes it easier to kill early on. Uh, after, after you hit it, you can kill it with a with a weaker creature or a crappier spell, basically. it's It just makes it easier to move after you use the charge. Uh, what else changed? I don't think there was all that much. I'm trying to think. I think there was four cards changed. Oh, yes. Um, there's another neutral creature. It was this thing. The Shadowed Son of Cleric. It's now a 3-2 instead of a 3-3. So again, this is now easier to remove. Uh, and it still provides its buffing power, so now you can use a claw with the druid to kill it, or lower type minions. So it's basically, it's a bit of a nerf, but it's easier to remove now. This is a very, very popular card, as was the this guy here. That's why they changed them, to try to make it, try to make them a little more balanced, and maybe give more options in the six costs and the three costs, because right now, on your three cost cards, in most decks that I see, people either take this, or they take... Where is it? Uh, Harvest Golems are incredibly popular. 
Yeah, Shadow Sun Clerics, Harvest Golems are remarkably popular. Popular. Raid Leaders are okay. Worgens are very popular still. Scarlet Crusaders are fantastic. Yeah, a lot of the other things. The Bear, you don't see all that much often. This guy, I don't see all that often. I only see this in Murloc decks, otherwise it's kind of useless. This I see in Priest decks pretty much only, because... Well, I guess you could chuck it into a Warrior deck and give it an Enrage, or... Yeah, Enrage, and just make it a beast, but anyways. So those are the cards that have changed. Uh, I do have... Uh, I'm okay with this change, because you play a bunch of these, or two of them on, on creatures, and they're, they're annoying to remove, actually. And I'm okay with this change as well on this guy here. Because it does make it easier to remove. You can use it with a weapon or a claw or anything to get rid of it after you use the charge, so it's okay. The Hunter one, I'm a little skeptical on how useful this is going to be. And I'm okay with this thing. It makes this... Well, actually, it kind of weakens this guy significantly. Because now this thing dies instantly to almost every class. Well, actually, it dies instantly to three of nine classes. And then... You can play, like, a one-attack creature and kill it with everything else, basically. So, it's a little bit of a weird change. I'm okay with it, because I don't like it very much, but... I have a feeling that this may get reverted back, depending... Because this really... The two changes to the Hunter deck is really gonna... It's gonna change the way the Hunter plays. Weapons and secrets, I feel, are going to become much more popular. But only time will tell. So, let's take a look... At the arena. Uh, I'm not going to do an arena run right now. I'm just going to kind of briefly explain what happens. Yeah, this is definitely changing, like, the color. But now in the arena, you can win a maximum of 12 games, which has gone up from 9. And that's a good thing, because it, it lets you get more rewards, I suppose. But winning 9 games in the first part is kind of a pain in the butt. I've only managed to do it a few times. And even then, it's really, really hard to do. So that's the arena change. Questing has been changed. I don't have any quests right now. Uh, thank you for telling me that. But, uh, cur currently I'm an angry chippy chicken because the ladder did reset. And this is the first time I've gone in. So, anyways. What we have is... Hang on, one sec. My apologies for that brief break. I had a phone call that I actually had to take. So where was I? Quests. Yes. The I don't have any currently, but they announced that you can now abandon quests. So if you get a, a quest, say you want to play like a warlock, and it gave you like a shaman druid quest or something, but you really like playing a warlock, you can now cancel that quest, and it will immediately give you a new one. What that is, is completely random now, so you might get the same one back, or you might get another class that you don't really like. So that's the changes to quests. What else majorly has changed? The ranking system. Yes, the ranking system did change. Now you have sort of a little portrait, and it gives you a number based on your portrait. This number goes up and down based on how many games you win or lose. No more do we have the sort of bronze, copper, silver, diamond master thing. I previously had a one-star master rank. Now I'm an angry chicken. So... We'll see exactly how far I can go with that and climb up. So let's do one game to see if the ranking will change. So let's play... I uh, No. Ooh, casual and ranked. So they did change this UI a little bit. This used to be a little doohickey thing over here that was ranked and unranked. So we're going to play a ranked game with the Druid deck, since that is the one that hasn't really changed all that much. It also now tells us what the hero power is. This is new. That wasn't there previously. So, we're going to do that, because this is the deck I don't think I have to change at all. Because I don't really have any of the... Well, I do have Argent Commanders. Those did change in this deck, but they're still pretty solid. Everything else is kind of okay, because the Drew didn't change that much. And if I come across a Hunter, well, maybe I can deal with him a little better now. So let's see what we can do. And that'll probably be it for, the, for this, say, patch day. And I will continue to do some ranked. Okay, so we're both angry chickens, so this is probably Mr. Sir Shade's first game as well. So let's drop all this and hope I can get something better. Mm, that's good. 
and those two I could use later on, but that's really good. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I'll drop the dragon, because it's more annoying for priests to deal with than this thing. And also, if he drops, like, a uh, cleric, or that. Actually, no, I don't want to drop the dragon, because that kills it. Okay, so he's going to try to do that. That's fair. Okay. Well, let's just drop that thing. I don't want to drop the dragon because that thing kills the dragon. And I'd rather him trade it out with, like, this, for example. So, hmm. <coughs> Coining into a holy smite on me is not exactly something I would have done. But, again, the ranks have been reset, so I have no idea what this guy might possibly have as far as experience goes. Okay. Powered shields. Okay, so he's like a super priest rushdown. Well, in that case, we're just going to eat that, and we're just going to drop that guy down. That's kind of a weird thing. I mean, if he throws like an inner fire on that, it does six damage to me, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but... Wolf Rider, okay. Ow. Well, let's get rid of that. Actually, let's just get rid of both of them without taking any damage in the process. Wipes his board, and we can kind of continue this. So this guy's kind of got a weird deck going right now. Priest Rushdown. Don't recommend it. Um, it can work. Okay. So he's got two of those things. Well, that happened. So he's got two cards left. Uh, let's just drop my dragon, see what I get. And then I will proceed to eat his face, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know what this guy's up to, but... He's dropped nothing but low-cost card. Mind vision. Ooh, that could be bad. He may have pulled my rags. That could be really bad, since I can't mind control that thing anymore <laughs> on turn 8. Ow, ow. Dragon up. Okay, let's kill this thing. Let's eat one of these things. And hit that. Then probably... I don't know. Probably eat that thing again with my hero power. What do you got in your hand? Hopefully you pulled one of these guys, because they're easier they're super easy to deal with. Wow, lots of low cost minions on this guy. And there's that Shadowed Sun Cleric. <sighs> sad face is sad. Okay. Well let's do this way. So kill that. Kill that. Kill that. And drop another dragon. There we go. Alright, he's got three cards and 30 health. So he's got a good health advantage on me. I've got a massive card advantage. He's got a wonky deck that has a lot of low-cost things. It, looks, it almost feels as if he's playing the stock deck. The kind of creatures that are in it. Okay, that's probably mine, so I know that he stole that from me. In which case, that sucks. Well, uh, hmm. Okay, so let's just do this. This is 4-2 still. We'll trigger it with that. And just kind of kill it with that guy. And we're just going to go eat, eat, smack. So, yeah, that was probably the thing that he stole with the Mind Vision. It, it feels very much as he's playing the stock priest deck. Yeah, very much feels that way. Okay. What? Uh. Okay. 
So I think I'm just going to Ogre Magi's swipe and kill that. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Sorry, mate, but uh, it just sort of has to happen that way. So we go slash, and we go smack and smack, and smack. So sorry, Mr. Sir Shades, for being my guinea pig on this new ranking system. But uh, someone has to be. So. Anyways, since this game's just about to wrap up, I'll give you my final thoughts on the patch. A lot of it is pretty good. Um, I do like the changes made to the Hunter deck, though, as I said earlier, the it's kind of a weird change that... Um, it's it's kind of a, a strange change between the, th the uh, Unleash the Hounds. It's a good change, but I would have liked to keep it as it was. Okay, so I'm still I'm still an angry chicken. I have I guess I need one more win to go up in my angry chicken. Uh, anyways, I'll come back to that afterwards, I suppose. But back to the Unleash the Hounds thing. It's it's a good change. I would have liked to keep the card the way it was previously, but increase the mana cost. Because right now, as it is, it's not as a fundamentally useful card. It cuts If they have a big, scary wall up, it doesn't even make a dent. And it also is reliant on your opponent having a lot of minions on the field. So there is problems with the card. I expect it to be tweaked again in the next patch, but... That's just my thoughts on it. So thank you for watching. Um, good luck in the patch out there. And I shall see you next time.